hell is that horrific noise, and why does it sound so much like that audio corruption that keeps ruining all of my videos, even more than I've really ruined them myself with my own infernal prattle? Wow, what time is it? Uh, about five past one in the afternoon. What is happening outside? I think it's raining. There's a frickin' storm! How very emotive. I'll go down, I guess. Check out on my boots. What are you talking about? See if there are sweets or sticks in them. Why would there be sticks in your shoes? Let us pick up the light and go check out. Of our hotel, presumably. Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to me being very confused, as per the usual. Right then, so yes, this is a little game, which has a very old-fashioned walking sound effect. Um, a little game called Krampus, which I believe to be a... Figure in German folklore, I think, would perhaps be the best way to describe it. Can I go through this door? Can I push it open with my face? No, I'll take that as a no. Right then, nice Christmas lights. Um, yes, I, I, I believe him to be some sort of German uh, creation, which is <laughs> some sort of horrific demon that eats bad children, if I remember correctly, which um, is frankly worrying. What in the sun is this? This is just a stupid looking Santa statue. Some sort of Santa Claus with a gnome, presumably. I hate it. Alright, sheesh, there's no need to get so emotive over these things, my friend. And here is another one. Kitty, maybe if it had eyes, it would be slightly more lovable. Right, never mind any of that rubbish. Um Here is a table. With that, which, which I can hide under. Oh god. <laughs> that bodes well for my survival. Okay, um, it doesn't seem like there's anything else that I can interact in here, so uh, we're going to move uh, very swiftly on and look at this fireplace. It doesn't seem to have anything set up in it, which uh, implies it's going to be a cold and chilly night. Right, here are my little boots. They are empty. Well, yes, because you haven't put your feet in them yet, you derp brain. <laughs> Weird. What are you talking about? I... Y y yes. Y do you mean your stockings? I mean, kitty on. So the Christmas stockings are not really a thing that I I, 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 I don't know as many people do it anymore. It's it's more of an old-fashioned sort of Christmas tradition to have presents inside of stockings. I mean, most of the presents that I buy people, to be honest with you, don't fit in a stocking, but that, is, that isn't the point. Um, there's a filthy joke I can make there, but I'm going to try and resist the urge to make it. So uh, perhaps that's what they're trying to reference. In Germany, do you put your shoes under the Christmas tree and then wait for someone to... Wait for Santa to put presents in them? I have a vague memory of one culture doing that, but I don't know if it's German. That is, if Krampus is indeed German. We went to the supermarket to buy stuff. We'll be back. Thank you, Bark. Right then, never mind. Um, well, okay. They may have got stuck outside because of the storm. I, I, or, all right, I think that's a bit of a jump to a conclusion, but never mind. I'm getting hungry. I'll go take some chocolate. Take, take some chocolate. Instead of have some chocolate. You describe it as if it's a drug. Alright, fine. Is the, is, the, um, is the chocolate in the cupboard somewhere? Perhaps. Please tell me it's not in the fridge. No, it's not. Thank goodness for that. Here is some floating chocolate. Ah, there is the chocolate. Yes, it levitates. I had the wrapper and everything. What the heck was that sound? I don't know, but it was very family friendly. I should go check it out. It sounds as if it came from the left. Perhaps it was the Christmas tree falling over? No, everything seems to be positively fine. Did somebody put some... Some some burnt chopsticks would appear to be what is in my shoes at the minute. That's going to make them uncomfortable to wear. Go check your boots! Yes, I've kind of already done that. What under the sun are these? Oh, I don't know. Mate, you tell me. You're the protagonist. Oh no! What, what What is it, mate? I can't even tell it's so pixelated. I haven't been a bad boy this year. Wait. It's a sudden memory. Oh, goodness. My giddy answer. Kindly kindly put on more than a thong when you're going to uh, deal with children. Okay, and a jetpack. Why are you wearing a jetpack? <laughs> oh, my giddy aunt. Are you crampers? <laughs> Okay, so here's a little here's a little cultural understanding of Germany that I've picked up in the past five minutes. If you're naughty, 
then your shoes get filled with licorice, and then a crazy naked burnt person wearing a jetpack and thong will throw you in prison. <laughs> Maybe that explains why the German labour force is so much more productive than the British one. Oh my giddy aunt, I remember, I remember having discussions and debates about that when I was at school and studying economics about the productivity gap between England and Germany. I don't think naked jetpack wearing demons are worth the explanation. <laughs> right, who are you? My name is Max, well I'll answer that question. We really have to leave this place. I don't have my cage key, so I can't get out. If you find a way out, could you please help me escape? Well, I'll try, but I can't make any promises. Maybe the chimney could be a great way out. Or maybe a door, for goodness sake. Why do you ever complicate everything, you nutter? Okay, where is he? I don't know. I'm going to pretend like he's nowhere. Um, can I, can I go through here? It's locked. Well, that doesn't really surprise me. It's a freaking prison cell. I need to find something to cut it. But why? Oh, goodness, I can hear footsteps and not just my own. Um, is there like somewhere I can hide? Oh, because there's a tree. It's just a tree. Oh, I can't hide in it, presumably. What's this? Oh, a big pair of bolt cutters. Yes, I could use this to cut his thong off. Which which would be an interesting thing to do with my day. Can I chop this open? Yes, I can. What, what purpose does this serve? It doesn't seem to serve a purpose. Can I turn my light off? Yes, I can. I cannot use that for being stealthy. Oh, goodness, I spy him! With his tail, which seems to come out at a right angle, which is a highly bizarre thing. Okay, good. I seem to have escaped him. Here we are. I'm going to chop down every single door that I find. Yep, it's locked. Well, why don't we chop it to bits then? Oh, for goodness sake. Stop standing around, man. Move. Thank you, for goodness sake. Is he coming back? Oh, goodness. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Okay, right. This is an interesting game. It's really throwing me in at the deep end. Oh, and here's another table I can hide under. All right. Well, at least that means I've, uh, I've got things that I can hide under. It's a water source. Or a tap, as the rest of us call it. Perhaps I can find some way to use it. Yes, it's called Turn the Tap On. It's not rocket science. I think even children figure that much out on their own, usually. Right then, here are some more boots, in case your feet get cold or something. And here is Cinder's Gnome. Excellent, because you can't have too many little gnome creatures to deal with. Again, with another water source. I do wish you could skip this dialogue a little bit, because you're completely rooted to the ground when it's going on. I can't move at all when this happens. So it's really very irritating. Right, what is this? Other than a key. It doesn't tell me what it's for, though. Which is a bit of a shame. Right then. Oh, goodness. An escape! This is... Well, there's one way we could escape here, but, um... We'd be here to get to you on that. Actually, um, that's a very, very deep fall there. I, you might forgive me if I choose not to, uh... Not choose, choose not to catapult myself over there. Okay. Where is friend? I don't know, I'm gonna turn the light off. Hooray! We've been rescued! Except you don't seem to care! It, it, you strange man, do I have to speak to you from over here? No. You could escape, friend, but apparently you just don't care. Alright, fair enough. I suppose I can't really expect everybody to have the same sort of enthusiasm for not dying as I do. What under the sun is this? It's a square cup. If I could find a way to stop the fire with some water, which I could perhaps carry in a cup, what's with the stacks of ovens? Okay, giddy aunt. I've also realised I can't run in this game because pressing shift doesn't do anything, except that he doesn't seem to have noticed me because he was ever so slightly bit too busy tinkering with his jetpack. This music is really, really weird. I mean, I'm hesitant to describe it as music because, frankly, it, um... That's damning it with uh, praise it doesn't deserve, so as I'm concerned. Okay, right, never mind any of that rubbish. Let's just go into this mine, seemingly. Okay, right, here's another balcony. Don't really know what the point of coming out here is. Perhaps he won't leave because he's got so little on that, frankly, he'd freeze to death the second he stepped out there. That seems relatively reasonable. Okay, can I get some water now? Yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. So it wasn't how do I turn the tap on you were asking me. It was Giddy, aunt. Or Giddy Krampus, perhaps I should say. He's a little off-kilter from zooming around at the stars like some sort of rocket man. For goodness sake, where are you, Krampus? I haven't got all night, you know. I've Christmas matters to attend to, and you're not making this tremendously easy on me. Where is he? 
nowhere, seemingly. Alright, let me see if I can put the fire out with this cup of water. Yep. Mm hmm. What? There, I could place something to get out. You have a very funny way of phrasing things, my friend. Alright, um, some more boots. More boots of doom. Um, a ladder! Yes, this might work brilliantly. Or it might work appallingly. Probably the latter, given that I'm the one doing it. Hooray! I have placed a ladder. Now can I leave? Yes, with my very conveniently uh, reunited friend. Oh, that's it. Uh, I was kind of counting on finding a little bit more. Hmm. Never mind, that didn't quite go according to plan. Um. Hmm. I wonder what the bad ending looks like. Presumably that involves dying an awful lot to um, our thong-wearing uh, prisoner. Prison guard, keeper, person, individual person. Giddy, I can't get my words together today. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Oh, that's presumably what the bad ending looks like? Alright. Yeah, presumably that's what the bad ending looks like. Right, well, there, now we've learned something, haven't we? Um, This is a very strange game. Why is he only wearing pants? I don't know. If any German people would like to explain that, then I would be very happy to hear your explanation, because goodness knows I'm sitting here feeling a little confused and confuzzled, but never mind. That was a silly and weird little game, but um, I don't know, it's sort of cute and a bit derpy, but hey-ho. It does what it needs to, which is entertain you for a few minutes and distract you from the uh, imminent doom of a demon coming down on Christmas Day in order to eat you or something. Who then decides to sidestep his way across the screen for reasons unknown. Right then, thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other, and good night.